Uh, this is the assignment for Latin 1 at the Independent School and Latin 11 at Wichita State for Monday the 5th of March. What I've done is I've given you uh, two handouts, one with a list of vocabulary, um, which we call a running vocabulary because the words appear in the vocabulary in the same position that they appear in the text. Okay, so let's see. Um, and I, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll go through the vocabulary and the meanings of the vocabulary words, um, which you are to copy down if I have not done already. Sometimes I have and sometimes I haven't. Um, uh, and then you will use that vocabulary to translate the sentences. Okay. So uh, Aeneas is a proper name, uh, son of Anchises, Eter and Troyani, Trojans. Most of the time I won't, I won't be able to type out the words for you. It just would take too long. So uh, um, the Trojans, ships. Naves, conscendunt, they board. So the Trojans board ships. Sentence B, uh, ab urbe Troyae, from the city Troy. <laughs> Intera signotas navigant, they sail um, into unknown lands. So they sail from the city of Troy and two unknown lands. Be you for a long time, then the accusative words, um, Amoinam Peninsulum, I think I might have altered that somehow, uh, a pleasant peninsula. Um, they seek. D, Ubi, where, no one Troyam, a new Troy, um, Condre Possunt, they can found. Flaccus, uh, so just ignore that. Sentence F, that is, sorry. Sentence F, multos labores, many troubles. Um, and then just read this uh, for yourselves later. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll have a, it'll be a quiz item later in the week. Um, uh, so there are two things that are in this list. Multos labores, many troubles many perils, many dangers. Um, so he calls, the joke he's calling, um, perils are what they're actually going through. Um, Subeunt, they undergo. They undergo many perils, many, many, many troubles, many... Mm, how did I say this? Sorry. Many troubles, many perils. F. Aeneas sipe disperat. Aeneas often despairs. G. At last, constituent, constituent. They decide to do to, to navigare, to navigate. And I've written here that this is an infinitive, and you should take note of that, that you should write it down. Okay. Uh, ad Italiam, to sail to Italy. H. But. When to Sicily, so I've identified this as a prepositional phrase, um, P dot P is a good pronunciation, a good uh, abbreviation for that. Akedunt, where they approach Troy, they, where they approach Troy, S Sicily, sorry, <laughs> where they approach Sicily. Magnum periculum vix vitant, they Avoid a great peril hardly. For Saxa vident, they see Saxa, rocks, ubi habitat scula, monstrum horrible. So they see rocks where scula or scylla, a monster, a monstress, 
uh, lives, um, a horrible monster, and they hear the sonotum in gentum, the huge sound of a vertec, verticus, a vortex, or a um, whirlpool. Ubi corruptus undas, a vomit. Where, so this is a subordinate clause starter, where Charybdis spews out rocks. L, Pater Anchises Magna Voce, uh, Clamat, Father Anchises, shouts with a great, a great voice, Fugite, uh, so it's a in plural imperative form, Fugite, Naves, um, flee ships. That is, he wants the ships to flee. A ripite, snatch your ships away from danger. Nam, in illis saxis, sic vix in columes e pericula vivadunt. For in them rocks. Uh, a, um, in them rocks, thus, um, oh, something's omitted here, so just skip this part. Um, skip those words. Um, and add these words. Okay. Thus, scarcely safe from peril, they arrive. They, arrive. they escape. Letter O, Aeneas et Troiani navis conscendunt. Oh, this is a repetition. So from here, And this is the part that was missing above. Aeneas, um, patres verba audiunt. Aeneas hears his father's words and rocks he avoids. Seek vix in columes a periculo evadunt, which you translated above. So we can just um, there's no need to repeat that. Ubi ad seculiam veniunt when they come to Sicily. Montem etnam vident. They see Mont Etna, which we just spell like this. Etna. It's a sort of a spewing volcano. volcano. Um, it doesn't, it's not a really very explosive volcano and erupts often. Ships, naves, ad teram dirigunt, they direct um, the ships to the ground, to the land, et sub noctem ad litus insulae adveniunt, sub monte in litera conscendunt, mons etna per noctem tonat. Um, Sub noctem uh, at nightfall, ad litus to the shore or near shore uh, of the island. Adveniunt, they come. Silvamonte in litera quiescunt mons etna per noctem tonat. Um, under the mountain, on the shore, quiescunt they rest. Mons etna per noctem tonat. Mount etna tonats, thunders through the night. Flamma set saxa in caelum proicit. 
uh, he, that is Mount Etna, projects and what it projects are flames and rocks into the celestial arch. When thirty Troyani Terati sunt et anxi diem expectant. Um, the Greeks did not like to sail at night. Um, uh, Troyani Terati sunt. The Trojans are terrified and anxi, anxiously, they await the day. They hasten to their ships. Uh, they hasten. They hasten to board the ships. When they see a man, quia litus curit, who is running ada litus to the shore, who is running to the shore, um, Troianos vocat, he calls the Trojans. Acurita deus et ait, he runs to them, to them, and says, Servata me vos oro, um, keep me safe, that is, save me, um, I beg you, I beg you, plural. Ego graecus sum, I am a Greek, comes ulixis, a comrade of ulixis, keteri fugerunt, the rest have fled. Ego solus manio, I alone remain. Fugite, flee, miserable per people, flee. Cyc the cyclopes here live, um, giants that are colossal, who eat. This is ed as an edible, eat um, men. Nolita me cyclopibus tradre, don't hand me to the cyclopses. Don't don't hand me to cyclopses. Servata me me in navem. Keep me safe. That is, save me. Uh, accept me into your ship. So once you've written out those vocabulary items, you'll be able to translate the, um, the sentences um, that, I, that will be on the other handout. All right?